When we're comparing decimals, and especially comparing decimals and fractions, we want to be sure that we have our numbers in a form where we can really determine which one is the largest. So if you look at part A here, we have 0 0.042, and that's really 42 over 1,000. And the next one, 0 0.420, is 420 over 1,000. And the last one, 0 0.402, is 402 over 1,000. So if we put these in order, we can compare them with the denominator. So they're each over 1,000. So the 42 thousandths is the smallest, followed by 402 and then 420. So let's rewrite these in the correct order, and let's put an inequality symbol in between. So this one is less than 402 over 1,000, which is less than 420 over 1,000. So let's take that back to our original numbers so we can put them in the order that they should go. 0 0.402 comma 0 0.420. Draw a line here. So looking at part B, we have some fractions and some decimals. So let's see how this might work. This fraction, if I write it as an improper fraction, it's 26 over 15. And if I divide that, I get 1.7333333, a whole bunch of threes. So that's a three repeating. So I have this 1.7 is to the tenths place. This 1.73 is to the hundredths place. This is also 1.73 to the hundredths place. So let me take each one of these to the thousandths place, and then we'll be able to compare them better. So that would be 1.730, because remember we can add ending zeros with decimals and not change the value. 1.73 repeating, I'm going to round that to the nearest thousandth. That would be 1.733. And then my last one, 1 1.7, if I take that to the thousands, it would be 1.700. So now I can totally compare these because the number of decimal points is the same. So we can see the 1.700 is the smallest, and then the 1.730 is next, and then the 1.733 is the largest. So I'm going to rewrite these as their initial values. So that was 1.7, and this was 1.73, and this was 1 and 11 fifteenths. So I'm going to take one final step and just write those with commas instead of with the inequalities. So we have it back in the form that we started with, but we have the numbers in increasing order.